welcome to my youtube channel so in this particular video we will talk about that how much dsc is required for any data science interview i know that this question have been asked a lot of times to me because uh, i am from data science background and uh, i used to teach data, data structure algorithms as well so it makes sense that you guys are asking from me this question a lot in the linkedin chat so i thought that why not to create a video where i can interact with you all i can tell you my experience about uh, giving so many inter interviews in top notch companies and how much dsa they are expected from me as a fresher so yeah this video is only for those students who are just a graduate students or who have been a uh, work experience from 1 to 3 years for sure i am not talking about those those people who are very highly qualified experience in, in in the in the industry because i am not sure about that okay so here i am specifically limit myself towards the freshers first of all that's the disclaimer of this video so now talking about the dsa basically what do you think why dsa is required and how do dsa is helping in data science industry any answer any thoughts for that you must know that dsa is basically nothing but a problem solving logic with the help of which we will be able to solve any problem how efficient how optimized code we are writing to solve any sort of problem right so basically can i say that dsa is something where we are trying to solve any problem with the efficient time and space complexity now if you are someone who don't know any about the idea about what is time complexity what is space complexity so how will you think about the optimization part of the code or any algorithm with respect to data science right so that is the very first thing why interviewers or why the companies are looking for dsa skill as well apart from your data science projects or the skills that you have inside the data science part now the second thing which i want to talk about in this video that how much so basically i used to say that if you are able to Uh, you know solve the lead code problems from easy to moderate level which includes array based data structure which includes string which includes trees which includes a uh, divide and conquer algorithm and dynamic programming which includes the core concept of recursion because without recursion obviously you can't solve any of the question with respect to divide and conquer or dp recursion plays a very important role so you should be good with that right the trees data stru data structure where the majorly the focus is, is towards the binary search tree the tree traversal algorithms then coming towards graph the graph traversal algorithms like bft and dft how basically those algorithms are helping in real life industry real time uh, applications are there for example whenever we are seeing google maps right whenever we are seeing kruskal or prims algorithm whenever we are seeing i would say traveling salesman problem so all these problems are the application of what data structure it's just a graph right so basically how we are trying to solve these real time applications using these different kinds of data structures that we have and at what point of time which data structure is required to mainly solve that problem is the understanding which you should have right they are not expecting you to have a very advanced level concepts like maybe skip list maybe try based data structure maybe uh, segment trees they're not expecting those things what they are expecting is that you should have a basic knowledge about all these data structures and you should be compatible enough to solve easy to moderate level problems you should be able to think about the logic you know in in google interview when you when you, whenever you will get a chance to give the interviews at google you will see that they just they they just tell you that just write the pseudo code they, they are not even ask you which programming language you are comfortable with they even don't take care about the test cases whether it's running or not what they are looking for is that whether you should have a clear cut idea about what is time complexity what is space complexity how will you optimize any code suppose the very first brute force approach which you are telling to the interviewer suppose n square so can you have that ability that you will be able to write a code from n square to maybe a time complexity of n or log of n minimize time complexity right so all these stuffs are pretty much important to understand apart from that dictionary again plays a very important role so you should have an understanding of that data structure as well 
stacks and queues again a very important data structure even if you will if you will go to my playlist in the youtube you will find one playlist by the name of dsa using python and one playlist by the name of fang dsa interview series these two playlists i would say is pretty much important because these two playlists are the ones which are required for any data scientist as well right this is again i'm saying very much important why because in fang dsa interview series if you will you will go and see i am talking about all those questions which are either asked from me or from my friends uh, when they gave the interview as a, as a data scientist position in top notch companies so what are the questions they asked what type of questions they asked what are the levels of those questions everything you will be able to see in that playlist so this is the overall idea behind how much dsa is required in any data science interview i hope that you really like it and if still you have any sort of questions do let me know in the comment section if you if you really like this video do hit like and please share this video to each and every one whosoever is looking for this kind of question whosoever is having some doubt in this particular question right and with this i would like to in this particular video i'll see you all in my next upcoming video where now we will talk about some new different topics regarding the same bye bye everyone see you all in my next upcoming video